Hello, and welcome to another episode of Lifestyles and Passions of the BCS Family. What's up, everybody? I'm Brooke Dresa. I'm Isaac Fatigoni, and we are here today with Corey Flores, a personal trainer over here at uh, House of Gyms. You guys have probably seen him out on the sand in Newport and Huntington. He's one of our best flag football players. I have to concur with that. And we just wanted to give you guys an inside peek about what his passions are and what he's up to when he's off the sand. Uh, so we're out here today in Orange, California. We're off, Cat off Catella. Um, House of Dreams, huge, beautiful facility behind us. So, okay, so Corey, you've been, uh, I know you've been boxing for 10 years. You've yes. been a trainer for eight. What was your passion or what really got you into it that drives what you do? I've always been into fitness and um, I've had some insecurity issues growing up, uh, just kind of getting bullied in high school. And I hated that feeling like I couldn't defend myself. So my dad signed me up at a boxing gym and uh, 10 years later, 11 fights later, I feel like I've um, solve that issue and I guess that was my main drive to get into it. Yeah, I can't really picture you being Aggressive. scared. Of yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, my, my coach always said, oh yeah, when Corey, he calls me Pinky because I always worked out with this pink hat and that's <laughs> we're Pinky. Team Pinky so I, and the kids just started calling me Coach Pinky so it just stuck but, um, but he used to always say, I remember Corey when you would come back into the gym and your head was down and your shoulders all shrugged and um, just it was cool for him to watch me grow as well as myself. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, we've been seeing videos of uh, you training your sister lately. Uh, how's that going and how that come about? Um, kind of similar, yeah. actually, because she was getting bullied in school, uh, middle school, when she lived up in Marietta, uh -huh. and um, I physically couldn't be there. You know, I'd go to her lunch sometimes and just kind of, who are these kids, you know? <laughs> but um, yeah. I wanted to teach her what was taught to me and it's been going really well. And she's not currently doing boxing and kickboxing now, but she's really uh, passionate about jujitsu. Oh, nice. And um, which is great. So I'm, I'm really excited for her. And I could see how it's kind of doing the same thing, you know, giving yeah. her that confidence, yeah. um, confidence as well. Kind of letting her come into her own. She's, I love your sister, and your family. <laughs> she's just so cute. Yeah. yeah. She's so I'm special. glad you're giving her that confidence <laughs> yeah. because. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids can be mean. Oh I mean, God. especially in this yeah. day and age with social media, I can't imagine growing up yeah. with social media. So, doing the best we can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. speaking of your family, I know I originally met you through your sister Candace. Um, mm -hmm. I know we all got to meet your mom a lot. She would come out to watch your games. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really sorry for your loss. I know this was about a year ago. Yeah, it was uh, January, yeah, this year. Yeah. So, about a year, almost a year ago. Yeah. Well, has your mom, I mean, what print did your mom leave on your life? Um, my mom was very, um, she, she always portrayed to us about, um, she, was, she was a very beautiful, beautiful lady and uh, she always got like that kind of attention growing up and she always said to us like, don't depend on what people tell you, you know, about like your looks or just anything, but it's like, what do you have to offer? And she really wanted us to grow and work against like our fears and just grow as people, you know, and just because she's like, because once you, you get past a certain age, like mm -hmm. all that goes out the window and it's just kind of really comes down to like what you have to offer. So she kind of really distilled that in our minds. Oh, that's out. awesome. Yeah. Well, I remember her, on, I remember her on the sidelines. She's like, that's my son. Yeah. That's my son. <laughs> you got yeah. pictures of him? That's my son. Yeah, my, big, my biggest fan. <laughs> oh, and, my gosh. Yeah. She was the biggest fan for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, she's still watching you from the sidelines. Oh, for sure. Always. She's Always. just yeah. not bugging Isaac anymore to take more pictures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> take more pictures of my son. Yeah. Take more pictures of my son. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's great. Well, cool. Well, I think she would be proud of definitely. what you've turned your life into. 
-hmm. and that definitely radiates from you. So yeah. I've seen nothing but confidence, yeah. confidence and kindness since I've met you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate that. Well, one of the purposes for this YouTube series that we're doing is to ask how can the BCS family support you mm -hmm. in your mission and your goals? Is okay. there anything we can do? Well, House of Gyms is currently, you know, the biggest supporter to me right now, um, you know, for my career and everything, and they're just behind me 100%. And this gym just started, and I feel like just promoting, you know, us as a family and House of Gyms and everything that we have to offer because it really is like how the name sounds and you know it's a house of gyms many different gyms there's jujitsu there's muay thai there's kickboxing there's cross training there is even zumba and we're going to be you know filling that in with something else but everyone kind of finds their own family and then they all you know try out different families of our gym that we have to offer so yeah i would think just like giving a shout out to these guys and um awesome. anyone local of orange or you know i even have clients from Irvine and Corona del, uh, Corona del Mar and City of Corona come down here, so it's um, Yeah, I see cool. Danica and Steph Smith working out with you every yep. once in a while. Oh, yeah. I can All say I've time. taken one of your classes, and oh, man, yeah. it was a great class. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I walked out of here with yeah. a little sore. Yeah. You're limping in about five minutes. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Corey, we'll make sure that we link all of your social medias and House of Gyms social medias to this video, and then the BCS family, we would like to support you. So, thanks thank for you. all you've given us. And thank you guys. I've been a part of BCS for five years and just, I mean, like I said, I'm training Danica and Steph and Sean and got to work with many other people like Isaac and just, it's just a good, an awesome family. Good, awesome family and a good uh, positive flow just that keeps going around. So, cool. I love it. Yeah, so I love our you. BCS family. Yeah. <laughs>